So you need to identify your wants and your needs, and then go for your needs in a particular tech gadget. Don't go for your wants. What's up guys, here we are in a new video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make tech budgeting easy. I'm a tech reviewer. I've bought a lot of tech devices and reviewed it on this channel. So in this video, I'm going to be telling you how to make your tech budgeting easy. Let's dive into it. Most of the time when buying a tech device, we spend a lot of money on the tech device and at the end, it's not even worth it. Or we don't even really need that particular tech device. We might need it, but not exactly that one because that one might be too expensive. So here's how to stick with your budget when buying a tech device. First thing you need to consider here is, there's a difference between needs and wants. For example, let's say I want to get these AirPods. Most people might just say they just need a wireless headphone to connect with their phone so that if they want to answer or play videos in the public, they don't have to use their phone because it might get loud. So when this is what you need, why do you have to buy an AirPods Pro for example? An AirPods Pro is much more expensive and you do have a lot of features like noise cancellation, transparency mode, spatial audio. Why not just get the wireless earphones you needed? You might get the AirPods Pro, yeah? But then you might not be using all those features. For me personally, I've not been using noise cancellation on my AirPods for almost two months now. I haven't been using the transparency mode. I don't need it. The only feature I use is the spatial audio. So when you are somebody like me, you don't really need to get an AirPods Pro. You might just as well get the AirPods 2, for example, if you really want something from Apple. But then there are a lot of cheaper options when getting wireless earphones. Same applies to phones and same applies to computers. Let's say you want an iPhone or you want to buy an Android phone. You don't need to buy the latest Samsung as well. You don't need to buy the latest iPhone. What do you need in a phone? I just want to be able to call people, send emails, take pictures, good selfies, of course, play videos, be on Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, or so ever. There are a lot of cheaper options rather than just buying the latest Samsung or the latest iPhone when you are on a budget because that's really going to break the bank for you. Because on the iPhone now, we're talking about 120 hertz refresh rate. You don't really need that. What you need is a phone that does all the basics. But when you do have a lot of money, you might get the 15 Pro Max, S22 or S23 Ultra, all that is okay. So what I'm just saying here is just get the phone that will do the basic needs you want. You don't need three cameras on your phone. You don't need the ultra wide, the you know, telephoto and whatsoever. You just need a camera. Okay. But if you really need the ultra wide telephoto for some of your work, or some things or some things you use it for yeah you need it you can go get it but a lot of people with these cameras doesn't even use them at all especially our fathers our fathers just take pictures of documents scan documents or whatsoever a lot of them have never ever used the ultra wide camera never so they don't even need it they don't use it they just got the phone so that's what i'm saying if you don't need something you shouldn't buy it same applies to computers. You don't need a computer with the highest specification, except if your workflow requires that. I've seen some people getting the M2 MacBook Air, for example, or the latest HP, and then just watching YouTube of it. Clearly, it's a good experience, the display and everything, but you don't really need it. You're on a budget, so just get something that will do what you want. You don't need to get the latest MacBook and then just watch YouTube on it. Doesn't really make sense to me, especially if you're on a budget. So you need to identify your wants, and your needs and then go for your needs in a particular tech gadget don't go for your wants maybe you want three cameras on your phone but you don't really need the three cameras because at the end of the day you'll be using one so don't go buy the phone with three cameras just get the phone with one camera because that's what you need remember you're on a budget so forget about your wants and then focus on your needs and a particular device yeah people might decide to get apple watch i've once had one and i was very excited for three days straight and after using the Apple Watch for three days, I just kept it. I went back to my chain watch because I really like chain watch rather than Apple Watch. But even though I'm a tech reviewer, I just bought it to get the experience. So something like that, you don't really need it because up till now, the watch is in my drawer. You don't need the computer with the highest RAM, largest storage capacity, most clearance and decent display. You don't need all that. What you just want is a computer to draft your email, send emails, watch YouTube and whatsoever, just go get the normal HP computer. It's not that hard actually, but people break their bank a lot when it comes to tech because they don't even know what they want and what they need. But when you are not on a budget, everybody wants the good stuff. We all want the latest computers, we all want the latest iPhones, we want the latest smartwatches or Apple watches. Yeah, we all do. 
But when you look at it, if you're on a budget, you don't really need that. Just get what you need, not what you want. So I hope this really helps you. Use this when purchasing your next tech device and see how you are going to save a lot of money. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to like and subscribe. Until then, I'm going to meet you guys with another video. Peace.